Without sounding too much like a freaking weeb, this is why Japanese commentary is always better than English commentary, almost always better, when it comes to knockouts, when it comes to fighting especially. So, this English commentary is not very good, but just listen to this Japanese commentary first. Just the eruption, the excitement, just the complete unbridled enthusiasm at what they've just witnessed. <laughs> You get the sense that they know they've just witnessed someone's life's work, someone's lifetime of preparation, practice and competition all culminate into this one punch, this one moment that has won him a world title. They keep this level of excitement and then they stay excited through the replays. Yeah, it's their hometown guy winning it, but this excitement just keeps coming all the way through. It's it's crazy and it just adds to, adds to it as a viewer. Now let's watch the English commentary. Sort of... Um... Japanese word would be chirasu, spreading your damage all over the place. Yeah. Ooh! Well, nice cross there. Holy kamole! Whoa, and he is. Wow. Well, like I said, picking a spot to work on and pick his face. Well, they did pick right down the middle. It looked like Wayuru was going to get up there momentarily, but he was down for the count. Seemed like he might recover, but. Yeah. So someone's just got ragdolled with a perfect. One punch KO. It sends him into ragdoll mode like it's Grand Theft Auto 4. And all they can say is holy camoli. Then they just keep muttering at each other like that scene in Anchorman where the news credits are rolling. I'm gonna punch you in the ovary. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> A straight shot. Oh, ow. Right to the baby maker. <laughs>